Hey YouTube. Well, I was bored last night. Couldn't sleep, so spent uh, some time painting this. I had a devil of a time figuring out the color of what I was going to paint it. Um, I was originally going to go with blue, and then my buddy who's also doing one of these is going with blue, and he's going with us. And uh, I uh, looked through my greens and I found Tamaya light green and uh, I don't know, it kind of felt like it went with this uh, older body. So uh, that's what she got sprayed. Um, got the, uh, the bed sprayed. I even painted the uh, toolbox. Uh, and here is the front uh, piece here. It's gonna go down in there like that. And uh, got the fender sprayed black. Used uh, Duratrax paint for the black and for the silver back there, which I think turned out pretty good. I got the uh, light buckets out. I've painted them and they're gonna go behind there. Still got to do the stickers for the grill and everything. And just some uh, odds and ends. Um, I would like to find like an exo cage roof rack and all for it. Uh, maybe uh, like the windshield, uh, you know, a brace that holds a light bar to top and, and a rack up here. Um, I don't know. I'm finding, it hard, I'm finding it hard to find those right now. Uh, Knights Customs used to make them and now it's like really hard to find and expensive uh, when you do find it. So I may end up having to go over here to the 3D printer and figure something out. I did, however, I haven't, I haven't cleaned them up yet, but I did uh, 3D print me some uh, mirrors, which uh, I've already uh, done one set of these because I actually broke them on my SEX-10. And there they are, the 3D printed ones. Um, they look okay. Uh, I might uh, sand them down and uh, clean them up a lot better uh, before I you know, spray them, make them look a little better. That was, that was my first shot there. Um, but anyway, there's the progress so far. Um, not sure about the tires yet. I have a lot better set of tires for this thing. I just kind of put those on there because they look mean. Uh, those are uh, G-Maids. Um, they are they are really good looking tire, um, but I also have some uh, Proline Trenchers with the Predator compound, which uh, I'm probably going to run. Uh, also, been thinking about a backup truck to take with me to Axial Fest, and um, yeah, I've got this thing tore apart and was messing with it a little bit. It might be an option. I've also got the SEX 10-1 up here which uh, I took last year with a gladiator body on it and I think that's actually the direction I'm going to go for a backup truck because I got on eBay and I found some guy who was selling some SCX-10 2 axles uh, and not the cheap ones uh, the ones like this one's got where you can you can actually adjust them in the front here That's dark in here, but you can adjust those ang the angles on the front. Um, you know, uh, for your knuckles and all, you can adjust the angles, uh, which are hard to find now. Uh, this one came out of a builder's kit. A buddy of mine uh, who's going with us, he bought a builder's kit. He didn't get those axles in his. He got uh, the ones that aren't adjustable at all. Um, so... They're AR44s, and they are the the adjustable type. So uh, that's uh, that's pretty sweet because I got them for a pretty sweet price. He just popped them on eBay, and I saw it, and I made an offer, got them for eighty bucks. And uh, considering it's about seventy five bucks per axle if you're going to get them new, um, that's not a bad deal at all. So uh, at any rate. Uh, figured I'd give you an update of where we're at with it. Um, you know, it, uh, I think it turned out pretty, pretty good. 
Um, it's going to look a whole lot better when it's all together. I had some crazy idea about putting an exo cage in it, like something, doing something like that. But yeah, it just didn't work. I mean, this is for a, a dead bolt. It's just, uh, yeah, it ain't going to fly. Uh, I'll use that on something else down the line. But anyway, hope you all have a good day. And uh, I know the world's kind of chaotic right now. And all I can tell you is uh, hold on tight. Let's uh, hope for the best. And uh, I just uh, tend to, you know, put myself, uh, throw myself at my hobbies and uh, kind of take my mind off things. And, uh, you know, RC uh, is a pretty fun hobby. I mean, uh, could be worse. I could be doing a lot worse things in life. Um, but uh, it is kind of like uh, throwing uh, money into a trash can. But the way things are going, that money might not be worth much anyway. So might as well enjoy it while you can. All right. Y'all take it easy out there. I'll give you an update again when I get, to, when I get this beast uh, sorted out a little bit more and figure out uh, what all I'm going to do with it. Oh, oh, before I run off here, one thing I forgot to mention last time on this thing is... Sporting a Reefs RC Servo. Oh yeah, yeah. We went we went big dog on this thing. Um, at Axial Fest, you don't really need a winch. This kinetic winch don't weigh much, but I don't know if it's going to go with me or not. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that. Um, Hobby Wing 1080, of course. Uh, Holmes Hobby Trailmaster. Um, you know it's. Got the carbon fiber chassis. You know, it's uh, going to be a nice rig when everything's said and done. I just need to uh, sit down and play with it a little bit more. I got this off of eBay. This is 3D printed by some guy. So I think it's like DM, DMRC or something like that. Okay, I'm not exactly positive, but it worked pretty good. I mean, that's nice little uh, body mount. It's applies a lot of rigidity to uh, help save your body because uh, when I hear these bodies are a little on the flexible side and can get tore up pretty easy so I'm hoping that preserves the body anyway I'm signing off I gotta get ready for work and get out of here and uh, go uh, do my real job y'all take it easy out there <laughs>